Hello, it's uh, so good to be with you today. Appreciate those who are joining us live. And also remember that we will archive the uh, webinar uh, on our Google Plus, our YouTube page, and the Image Building Web Design video page. And so those will be available later. And also with that, we will have the um, we'll have the links to the uh, sites we talk about today, and a little bit of information there. Um, today we're talking about uh, getting more traffic by improving your page ranking. Now, page ranking is is not exclusively uh, an end all to getting more traffic. But generally speaking, the better page ranking you have uh, is indicative of the better sites you have, and of course, the more traffic you're going to get. And so we're going to talk about the page ranking today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, and uh, we are going to, I'm just going to show you my PowerPoint very quickly, and I may come back to it at the end here, but I uh, uh, just wanted to very quickly tell you what we're going to be talking about. And uh, again, these webinars are for exec executives, executive level, and so uh, we we don't get into a lot of the nitty gritty details. But for the executive, just having a good idea what's important and how these things work, uh, as uh, he's working with his own company and those who are reporting to him. So the first thing we're going to talk about is finding our page ranking, which we've done some in our webinars, and we're going to talk about SEO Quake, and uh, also we're going to talk about uh, something we've not talked about before in the webinars, and that's Google Analytics. We're going to go to a, a Google Analytics page and look at that for a second, and uh, just some very good information for you there. Uh, we're going to talk about keywords, the analysis, and implementing that with our site. We're going to talk about content and the Google standards. We're going to talk about social media. We're going to talk about your clout score and, again, Hootsuite.com and about the content there. We're going to talk about backlinks, and we're going to talk about a site map. And then lastly, we're going to talk about rich snippets. So we have a lot to, uh, we have a lot to talk about today, um, uh, but, but uh, uh, we'll move very quickly uh, through the webinar. All right, the first thing we're going to do is talk about find your page ranking. I'm going to share my screen again. And uh, we're going to uh, to talk just for a moment about SEO Quake. It's one of my favorite tools. And uh, that uh, that runs with uh, your uh, Google Chrome. I'm not uh, using Google Chrome here because I'm using that to run, run the uh, webinar. So I'm using Internet Explorer here. And so, uh, but SEO Quake runs with uh, with Chrome and uh, uh, some others, and it is fantastic to use. And as we've talked about before, uh, you know, download the free version of SEO Quake. There are a lot of add-ons there. Download those, and uh, then it uh, will appear with your toolbar up near the top, and it will give you your page ranking. Now remember, Google changes the page ranking about once every three months, about once a quarter, and uh, so you'll have to watch for that. Once it changes, it will be some time before it changes again. And as we've mentioned before, it's very important, if you see your page ranking going down, to immediately start to address it because the page rankings are changed just so infrequently. Uh, if you don't get on it right away, it, it may take several months before you see that page ranking improve. Um, so, so uh, using SEO Quake uh, is great. Now, also with Webmaster Tools here and uh, with Analytics, uh, I, I just pulled up a site for us here to have this ready, uh, and, and this is a uh, this is a site that we've had for some time, uh, and it goes uh, it goes back for some time. We've really not done a whole lot of uh, uh, marketing or uh, SEO or anything such as that. And um, uh, but we wanted to take just a look at it for a moment. Now, as executives, if when you go to your webmaster tools and you come down to your tra traffic and you look at your search queries, as we see here in the nav, nav uh, navigation here on the, the left hand side, uh, with search queries and then with top pages over to the side. So we've got top uh, top queries here, and we can scroll down, and it tells us the the query, the search, the search term or search phrase used for people coming to our sites, and and this is, by the way, this is for a one month period. You go to the top here, you can see it's from November 18th to December 18th, and you can go back th uh, a total of three months and look at a quarter's worth of data at a time here. You can also download the table, and you can also download the uh, uh, the uh, the chart here, 
And so you can, uh, you can have that and you can keep that. But I want you to notice here with Bible Study Guide, uh, Impressions 2500, Clicks 900, the, uh, the click-through percent is 36%. In other words, for people uh, doing a search for Bible Study Guide, 2,500 of them saw the results with uh, uh, the search. 900 clicked on the website, uh, which is 36%. And then it gives us the average position. This is the average position on the page. So we're coming up on uh, number one on that. And it goes on down, uh, Thanksgiving Bible lessons, Bible study guides, etc. And so, and so when we talk about page ranking, it's great to see SEO Quake, see what your page ranking is, but it's really as and maybe more important to see what your ranking is with certain queries, certain search phrases and keywords. Uh, we can also do this for top pages. And uh, we see the top pages here. Uh, you see the uh, impressions, the clicks, the click through percent, and the average, uh, average position. Uh, you can also click with change here and see what pages are moving up and down. So it's very valuable information. So as executives, uh, knowing our page ranking, knowing which pages people are going to the most, uh, which pages they're finding most frequently with search engines, which pages they're finding mo most frequently and have the highest click-through percent, uh, finding which pages are, rated, are rated highest on the search, search engines. This is all incredibly valuable information. Now, of course, in this executive tutorial, we're talking about improving this ranking and getting more traffic. So let's now talk just for a moment about keywords. Now just, uh, I think it was last week, I, uh, I had talked about this just a little bit, maybe a couple weeks ago, and we all, I also created an executive tutorial. And uh, the executive tutorials go into further details on how to uh, find what the keywords are associated with your industry, uh, to find uh, uh, the key phrases, and uh, to, to think about implementing that into your website and the other things that you are doing. So we need to find our keywords. And in doing this, we go to uh, some tools that I shared with you uh, with this tutorial. Uh, we'll go, we use AdWords. Uh, we'll use the keyword, uh, uh, the, the keyword tool there and, uh, and others and we analyze. We find out what the keywords are. We find out the competitiveness there. We do some analysis and we see if we can get a competitive edge in there somehow and uh, maybe find some diamonds in the rough that we might be able to get an edge on the competition with keywords and key phrases and then we implement that into our site. And we implement that with, with everything that we are doing. Uh, we implement that with our content. And we implement that with our social media. We implement that with our anchored links and with our backlinks, with everything we are doing. And again, as we stress in the tutorials and other webinars, we need to regularly analyze to make sure we're, we are still in the sweet spot. And so I wouldn't go further than three months. I would do it at least once every quarter. And you may want to do a thorough analysis every quarter and just a little checkup once a month to make sure you are still in the sweet spot because the behavior of individuals online changes. And when that behavior changes, when they're trying to find services that we provide using different keywords and key phrases, we need to make sure we're on top of that and position ourselves, reposition ourselves so that we can be found. So it's our job to recognize what the behavior is and position ourselves properly. And so we have to stay on top of that. Well, let's also, as I share my screen once again, let's also talk about, uh, let's also talk about content. And uh, let, me, uh, let me share my screen here once again. All right, so uh, here I've got Webmaster Guidelines by Google. We want to talk about content because more and more and more, uh, uh, and for good reasons, because the algorithm changes. We've talked about that before. 
uh, content is king again. And so, for example, the website I showed you just a few moments ago with the analytics, uh, that's, a, that's a site we've had for some time. Uh, basically, uh, not had any SEO done with it. Uh, but, but what it does have is a lot of pertinent content. And that site was created a long time ago when content was king. And then, and then all of these black arts of SEO came about. And now content is king again. So more important than, than I would say anything else is having good content. Because if you've got good content, people are going to find you. The search engines, uh, the individuals behind these, very intelligent, very smart. They know how to find good content and then serve that up. And so good content, that is the key. And I, and I just brought you to Webmaster Guidelines here. With Google, and it's great to read through this, to uh, stay on top of all of this as things do change from time to time. But I wanted to bring you down, uh, getting near the bottom with quality guidelines, basic principles. And I sent this out on our social media. I think it was just yesterday. And uh, n number one, make pages primarily for users, not for search engines. And so although we're on top of our keywords and things such as that, uh, all that's helping us to understand is how to communicate with people, not to game the system because you can't game the system. You may be able to game it a little bit, maybe for a little while, but as many people have found uh, in this year, 2012, that when you game the system, eventually it's going to come back to bite you, and it has with many sites. So great content. The analysis you do, keywords, is just finding out how is the best way to communicate with people. But we don't change our content just to try to game the system. Uh, number two, don't deceive your users. Number three, avoid tricks intended to improve search engine rankings. Again, that'll come back to back to bite you because the, the individuals behind these search engines are very intelligent. And so you need to be honest with what you're doing. Don't deceive your users. Don't do things just to try to get a search engine ranking today, but look for the long haul, great content. And think about what makes your website unique, valuable, or engaging. Make your website stand out from others in the field. And so this is coming from Google and their guidelines. And so content is king. That's where the focus has to be. With everything we're doing, everything that relates with our website, that's that's what we do. All right, so we've talked about we've talked about several things and and uh, uh, again we're just uh, uh, we're having a an overview of uh, of these things and we've talked about the page ranking we've talked about finding out the page ranking we've talked about using Google Analytics to find out where our pages are with the ranking and, and in searches and queries and things such as that the search terms the, the search phrases that people are using that they're finding our site on Google and search engines that they're clicking through. And we've talked about content. Okay, so now let's talk about social media just a little bit. As we've talked about in the past, our social media in respect to our businesses is being uh, analyzed uh, to find out how pertinent, how important we are as a company and how influential we are as a company. And so it's very important that we have good social media campaign and we stay engaged with that. All right, let me share my screen here for uh, for just a moment. Okay, I got the wrong one. Hang on one second. Uh, let me uh, let me uh, go to the page here. Let me go to the page here. Um, All right, here we go. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I'm sorry once again. Let me uh, let me grab it here. All right, let me share my screen. All right. Okay, so uh, so with our social media, uh, just like Google Analytics, there is a way to analyze how we're doing with our social media. And we've talked about this a little bit, and that is by getting our clout score. And that's how much clout we have uh, with other individuals as it's gauged through social media. So number one, 
just as we want to have our Google Analytics set up so that we can use that and analyze and see what we're doing, where we're going, we want to have our clout score set up so that we can come get the information. And if you're using Hootsuite, by the way, which we've talked about before, if you're using Hootsuite, uh, then when you um, uh, uh, click on a uh, Twitter posting, uh, your clout score will come up, as it will for anyone else. And so the clout score will come up. And so that's a very easy way to do it. But I still suggest you go to clout, sign up so you can get your score, and they'll analyze more media than just, than just, uh, than just Twitter. And so know your clout score and analyze your clout score. Make sure that it's improving, especially if it's in the lower to mid-range, and uh, certainly that it's not falling down. And then there are tools such as Hootsuite to use, and this will help you with your social media. It will help you schedule your social media. It will help you be more efficient with your social media, and also you can get your clout score from that. Now I want to switch over back over to the video here for just a second and talk about uh, two more things. Then the last thing I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull up another page for. So we've talked about knowing our page ranking and making sure that it's going up, uh, make sure it's not going down, and at the very least staying consistent, especially if you've got a good page ranking. Uh, we've talked about using Google Analytics to see which of the keywords and the key phrases. Uh, people are coming to uh, look at our site and see what our click-through percent is, to see what our uh, ranking is on uh, search engines, uh, what we're coming up for those phrases. Uh, we've talked also, we've also talked about keywords, and, uh, and, and that is to make sure we're communicating with people in the way they are searching for things which relate to us. We've uh, talked about content to make sure we've got good content, and we've talked about social media to make sure we are engaged with that and that we're analyzing both our website with analytics and our social media with our clout score. Uh, now, uh, to increase our uh, page ranking, uh, in addition to the things we've talked about already, we're going to talk about backlinks. Now, backlinks got people in a lot of trouble who were trying to game the system, and, uh, and, and with the changes to the Google algorithms, uh, those who are trying to do that, trying to use these black ops, black apps, black arts, whatever it is, uh, they they are uh, uh, they found themselves to be in a lot of trouble, and their their ranking just plummeted, and because they were trying to game the system. And the lesson is there: anytime you game the system, it's going to eventually bite you. Don't ever do that. Be real honest with people. Present great content. Be engaging with people. But don't do it in in in, uh, uh, in order to get some short-term boost in a search engine ranking. But be it truly someone in the community, your community, your online community. That's uh, that's a good neighbor. And adding to that, backlinks are links from other websites to our website, and they can come from a num number of sources. We don't get into all the details with this webinar, but uh, you can have your website listed on directories. Uh, on bookmarking sites. You can be a guest blogger on some sites, and there are some that are better or worse to do that with. Um, I strongly suggest if you are using SEO Quake, just make sure wherever you're posting, just make sure it's at least a page ranking three or higher. Three or higher, 10 is the absolute highest. And you'll be in pretty good shape. There are some that are going to be better than others. If, it's, if, the, if the site uh, allows search engines to follow the links, that is a whole lot better. SEO Quake, you can set it to tell you that, as a matter of fact. So you can make sure the sites that you're posting on, you're going to get that advantage with that. Uh, so backlinks, and especially backlinks from other sites that are authoritative in your field. And again, with SEO Quake, you can see the domain authoritativeness there that, that, that each site is, uh, is ranked with. And so make sure they're good sites, well ranked with their authority, good page ranking, and if possible, that the links are followed. Don't have to be. And uh, also, there are other things we've talked about that uh, Google and I'm sure other search engines are analyzing. But if it is follow with the links, then that's going to help you out even more. Also, make sure you've got a site map, and that the site map is registered at least with Google, and uh, and and others will be great. But at least with Google, to make sure that you've got the site map, 
that it's updated regularly, and that you ping your site. And when you ping your site, pingomatic.com is one of the most popular. When you ping your site, basically that's telling others, hey, we've got something new, come index, find out what it is. And so sitemap and ping. All right, very last thing here, and I'm going to share my screen. And uh, uh, we're going to talk just for a moment. Sorry, I got the wrong one again. Let me get the correct one here. We're going to talk for just a moment see if I can find the page here. Let me see if that's it right there. No, it's not. Hang on one sec. I will give it another try here. I really want to show you this. And if I can't, uh, can't get this to come up, that's fine also. But if I can, that will be, that will be even better. So let me see if I can. I'll just pull up my, uh, I'll just pull up my PowerPoint there. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is rich snippets. And I wanted to pull up schema.org, but it's really not important that I did. Uh, schema.org, and basically what has happened here, uh, the large, uh, large uh, um, search engine entities have got together and come up with standardized markup so that, that with our websites, we can put in this markup and it communicates to the search in entities uh, what this is all about. And this will help us out a great deal. And so rich snippets, and, and use, usually it seems that's the last place that we go with it because it's maybe a little bit more technical, a little more difficult. Um, unless you're very familiar with HTML, mark, uh, HTML markup, uh, you're going to need some help with that. Most of these other things, though, you can do yourself. So let's just review for a second. Find your page ranking. Use SEO Quake. Use Google Analytics. Find keywords and key phrases. This is just learning how people are communicating online today and make sure you are, uh, you are communicating in the way that, uh, that reaches them best. Content, have great content. Uh, social media, be engaged, active. Backlinks, don't spam them, but be using them. Have a site map, have it registered with search engines and use rich snippets. And this helps you to communicate with the search entities. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you today. Our page ranking is not the absolute end all to uh, having lots of visitors find us and come to our sites, but generally speaking, the vast majority, the better our page ranking, the more we're going to be found online and uh, the more traffic we're going to receive. And so these things we've talked about today are just basic SEO, online marketing things. And uh, if we do these, we'll be more successful. So I appreciate you being with us today. Again, I hope it's been helpful for you. I've enjoyed being with you and look forward to seeing you again every Tuesday, uh, 9 a.m. online here. And then these are archived also. Thanks so much.